Okay, so welcome to part three of uh, my basics tutorial series for the creation kit. And in this tutorial series, I'm going to be showing you how to place doors and connecting them between interiors and exteriors and placing them in the world space or wherever you want, really. So um, I'm going to begin by, um, I guess, looking for a location where I want to place it. And um, I'm going to choose the Commonwealth. I think I have a pretty good place where I can, where I can place it. Uh, there's already a bunch of uh, like buildings and stuff that have doors that you can't enter and it's simply by placing a door there you can link something up to whatever's like you know kind of resembles these two rooms so um, let me think let me think um, Probably at, uh, let me try Hardware Town. All right, so here I have a Hardware Town loaded. That actually took a lot longer than I had expected. But anyways, uh, as you can see, this place is, uh, is loaded with quite a number of buildings. Let me scale this up a little bit so that I can see. And just try to find a place where I can put my door at that will lead it, um, into the rooms that I created. So let me see here, let me see. Okay, you know what? This looks like a good spot. I could place a door in here. This kind of looks sort of similar. All right, so I'm gonna choose a door. Um, there's different types of doors here that you could choose from and some of them actually auto load let me hit the M key show it and you see this this door would like automatically load to another area but I'm not gonna be using using one of those what I'm gonna want to look for because um, you see these doors right here these doors open completely and I don't want that to happen so I'm not gonna be using one of these doors neither I would say something like, um, uh, let me look through the list here, something like um, wood door, painted wood door, there we go, uh, painted wood door, it's double door, low door, uh, B, B would be okay, okay, so I would say that this door would, would probably be good enough, so I'm going to place that right here somewhere. And of course, again, I'm going to choose this to um, to have my door snap to. So I'll select select that from the render render window, and hit OK. Close this, and just align this right. Hmm, doesn't seem to be aligning the way I want it to. It's probably probably because of my snapping tools. So I'll apply uh, another number get it to snap more accurately okay so it's not snapping the way I want it to so I'm just going to turn off the snapping tools and just to do this all manually to make sure that my door is in position all right I would say that looks pretty good. So, uh, yeah, okay, so my door set up over here, and I'm gonna do the same thing by uh, choosing that, opening up that tutorial cell that I created. And let me turn on the snapping tools again and do the same thing. I'm gonna choose a place that I want to add the door at and okay I think uh, right here would be okay so let me delete this and make a copy of this right here so control duplicate and hold uh, the right mouse button and just drag it around 
rotate it. And I'll move this into position over here. And, oh, by the way, also, by hitting the, the, one, the one key a couple of times, you can make things disappear and uh, reap reappear. Or you can make them transparent so that you can uh, see through them. Okay, so... And also hitting alternate, alternate one will reveal it. Okay, so everything here is in place. And I'm going to put that same door, that same painted door, right over here. Make sure that it's uh, aligned right with this. See, I'm trying to think. I think it was like this. So it doesn't really matter, but it's just uh, better for immersion. And okay, so I got my door placed. And I'm going to open up the, the dialog for the reference. And I'm going to go to teleport. And I'm going to link this door by checking this teleport um, checkbox. And I'm going to reload that other cell that I had again so that I can go back to where I was. So I got to keep this open, by the way, so that I know that I'm linking the doors up. And this, of course, it takes a little while. This time it, it did it pretty quickly, so. Okay, so let me find that area that I was at. Okay, so here I am at that other door. Uh, link the two together. So select the reference. So now these two doors are linked up. So I can tr I can uh, tr what is that uh, transition from one one area to the other from this e exterior here in uh, Hardware Town to that interior tutorial tutorial cell. And okay, I'll hit OK. I'll save it, and I'll reveal the markers again. And as you can see, the, these markers, I don't know what this is. I think that's like it's some kind of LOD thing. I don't worry about that. This, this thing right here, um, this is where your character will spawn at. As you can see, the direction is actually facing towards the door. So if I transition from, from the interior to the exterior, it's actually going to be facing the wrong way. So holding the, uh, right mouse, the right mouse button and dragging it around, I can... Uh, set the rotation of it and um, okay I, I set the position and do the same thing for the other one so I double click that um, this marker here and I click on yes and do the same thing for this as you can see it's also facing the wrong way so I'll turn this around and I mean really it doesn't matter whether it's going this way or whether it's going that way but just to check to make sure you could see it just open slightly this way and not all the way and make sure with the other one as well you see this one is going out so one thing I should do is actually make it the other way just to make it match all right so pretty much that's all set up but um, one other step that I want to take is I want to actually make this door so that I can um, I can open it some other way. It, there's uh, you can actually lock it. So I'm going to check this lock check checkbox over here, and I have a choice between uh, novice, advanced, expert, master requires key, and all these actually. Um, if you have some bobby pins, you can um, you can pick the lock if you want to, and. Requires, re requires key, there's no way that you could actually use any of the bobby pins. You're going to have to find the key in order for, to get inside. And inaccessible, make it completely inaccessible, no matter what. Uh, or it requires a terminal, and you can, you have to, you can op only open it through a terminal, or you can have it barred, or you could have it chained. And they, they have a different types of pack-ins where you could place them, and you can actually open it up from the interior if you want, and make this door accessible. But I'm going to choose requires key. And next, next thing I'm going to do, first save it, is I'm going to make a key. So I'll start with that. Go into items, uh, key, and I'll make a copy of one of these keys. Preferably, I guess, uh, I'll duplicate one of these uh, covenant keys and I'll give it a new name. And give it something like uh, you know, tutorial 
cell key. We call it um, tutorial cell key. And this is what's going to show up in the game. You don't have to do anything else. And it has a, a kind of um, kind of model defined to it. They got different types of models if you want to. Um, actually, um, this one has a Nuka Cola. That's uh, pretty cool. I think you could change this, the materials here if you want to, but uh, this one seems to not have any. Okay, so I don't have to do anything else. All I have to do is just uh, create that key, and that should be good, en good enough. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to want to create a new key because I just this is the duplicate duplicate key. So hit no, and then are you sure? Yes. So now I have that tutorial key that I can use, and um, once again, this is important. You're going to have to choose that tutorial key from this, um, from this menu here, drop-down menu, and make sure that um, it's linked up with that key. So now, I'm going to place this key in the world. And I guess I'm just going to put it in this trash can, so that uh, the door's locked and I find the key in the trash can. So I'll hit the Run Havoc Sim, and the key will fall into the trash can. And that's pretty much it. Um, there's many other types of different doors that you can, that you can um, place. Also, if you want to change the, different, the color of this door, make it blue, or have it uh, something like green, that ugly green, or red or white, you just uh, hold Alternate and Shift, and you um, drag them, I mean, um, you scroll the mouse wheel, and it scrolls to the different types of colors. So I'm just gonna leave that blue because that's the one that's inside. And that's pretty much it. That's how you connect the uh, cells, exterior cells and interior cells and placing doors. So I'm gonna try this in game and I'm gonna show you how it worked out. All right, so here I am in game at Hardware Town and uh, I believe I'm really close to that building where I place my door. Here it is. And um, if I Only try to open, with a key. so I have to use I have to use the key that should be in this trash can here. You grab that key. I should be open, able to open the door. So here I am. And the cells that I just created. All right, so that's pretty much how you um, place doors and link them between interior and exterior cells so that you can uh, enter the cells that you created. And hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something new. I um, hope you appreciate what I'm doing here and um, stay tuned for the next one. In the next one, I'm gonna be covering some lighting techniques and how to place lights and what, what they all do, all the different types of lights. And that's it for now. Peace the F out. If you appreciate what I'm doing here, you could check out my Patreon at www.patreon.com slash northern springs. It is a DLC sized mod, which adds a whole new area for you to explore and find new stories, pretty much everything. For only a dollar a month, you can help me so I can grow and continue doing this. If you want to download any of my mods, there are links in the description below.